This cover reminds me of some horror movie or maybe some serial killer type of shit. What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And today we're going to talk about KPW's EP, Please Don't Test God. Now KPW is an artist out of Minnesota, and a while back I reviewed one of his projects called Black, The Default. I thought it was a little bit of a rough project, although there were some nice features, some nice moments in the production, and some thought-provoking content. So to check out that review, as well as KPW's music and all of his other links, just take a look at the information box that's underneath this video. Now this EP right here is pretty short, it's only five tracks, and as far as the quality of this one, I think it's about on par with the last project of his that I reviewed. The audio quality here isn't bad, but it is a little bit rough, and that little bit of roughness actually hurts it quite a bit because he's spitting with a very broad vocabulary and spitting with some abstract lyricism, so when you mix all that together, it can be really hard to pick up on everything that he's trying to say and understand the points that he's trying to make. And that is not to say that it's bad how he's spitting with such a broad vocabulary and with that abstract style I actually think it's pretty dope but again it does make it hard to understand everything being said when the audio quality isn't really up to snuff but still you're going to pick up on some really good content on here as long as you're paying attention like on the opening track please where he brings up how some people will pray to white jesus for forgiveness but then they're going to be out there doing the same shit just sinning again and falling into those same negative patterns and I think we all know people who do that. They get their hands all dirty through the week and then they show up to church to wash their hands and then do the same shit for the rest of the week. So I like how he was bringing some religious undertones onto this project and his lyricism and his content I think are his strongest points. I really like the way he raps. I think I may have said in the last review of his that he kind of reminds me of Kay Reno. Just his delivery it's kind of gruff and he has a really nice flow as well so he's definitely a good rapper but getting into a studio would definitely go a long way here and I also think the production could be tightened up as well. It actually took me quite a while to get this one to grow on me. I gave it a couple of listens in order to give it a fair chance because at first I didn't like it too much but that was because the production is a little bit more experimental and different. But once I gave it some more chances it really did grow on me but there are some things here that could definitely be improved. Now as far as the production, I really like on the one song, Gluttony of Delight, where we get a nice feature from Price, he had a pretty dope verse, and also some production that sounds like something Rizzo would have created back in his earlier years. And there's a nice jazzy outro on the song Please, so you are going to find some nice moments with these beats. It might just take you a couple of listens to warm up to them, because they are different, and being different isn't a bad thing, it's just a little bit out of the ordinary, so you're going to need a couple of listens in order for it to really hit you. Now, On Normal to the Eternal is one of my favorite songs on here, and that's because KP is working some of his best flows on this whole project, and I also like that flute work on the beat. It was just a really solid track overall, and Demerara was another one that I liked. It has a little bit of a hazy feel to the production, and KP is spitting about the values of Demerara Sugar, and also he touches a little bit on how our perceptions can be weak and they can easily be manipulated. So again, you are going to get some good content on here. You just have to really listen and pay attention but I give this one a 2.5 out of 5 and I think the production could just be tightened up a little bit I do like the experimental nature how he's not trying to just go with the normal shit that everyone's doing but these beats could still use a little bit more flavor I think maybe some harder drums some thicker bass and getting into a real studio to get that audio quality to the max would really help out and go a long way here so basically I think KPW has that raw talent he just needs to tighten things up and polish what he has going on here because I think he's working at something special he does have a bit of a different sound he's bringing that abstract lyricism so he doesn't really sound too much like anyone else so I'm looking forward to hearing what he does next but hopefully he can step up those production values overall because I think that's his biggest obstacle but that's just what I thought about it. You guys can check it out for yourself and then hit me up in the comments section to let me know what you think. And make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, man. Where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.